South Melbourne are touted as the championship favourites and not many would argue that point today. Another test and just the one change with Socceroo Gary Hasler promoted for injured captain Stephen Blair. And it looks like it'll be quite a few weeks before Blair is back. Hasler has moved to the left back with the young Socceroo captain Kevin Musket playing at stopper. West Adelaide have slipped of late, taking just one point in their last three games. Today they welcome back from injury number eight, Pedro Ricoy, which forced Raymond Blair to the bench, but he has come on during the half-time break, and I'm just checking to see who he has replaced. It appears to be Gus Serra. For goalkeeper Alex McPherson, it's just his second game in West Adelaide colours. The referee today, Richard Lorenz, the longest-serving referee in the Coca-Cola Soccer League. He's been there since the inception back in 1977. He has refereed around 280 games. Hasn't had too tough a time out in the middle as we get underway here. Raymond Blair, the sub, and in fact he has come on for Gus Cerro. Hugo Jimenez across now to Slager and back for hooker. But an interesting first half, full of action, full of goal mouth incidents, and yet again three goals which we've become accustomed to and perhaps being a bit spoiled of late in the Coca-Cola Soccer League match of the day. There goes down to that challenge from Hasler. And I should point out, John, it's been really good of late to see that the uh, the amount of goals has certainly picked up in round 13 before the uh, festive uh, break, you could say. An average at 4.14. We had more goals scored in round 13 than we ever have in the Coca-Cola Soccer League. In comes the record free kick away by Musket. And now Tassios. And there was Peterson. And Lazaridis got the touch on for Blair. And safety first tactics by Paul Wade. Trimboli. An exceptional goal to give his team the lead, which it stands now at 2-1. And I just wonder, John, uh, Gus Serra obviously has taken a bit of a knock, but again we see South Melbourne breaking quickly. Tassios looks up inside by Warren Tigby. Oh, exceptional save by McPherson. As Peterson tried to get it across for Konbutsianis. And again, Alex McPherson called to do the job. And Butzianis has crossed just a bit too much on it, but South Melbourne continuing on the fine form we've seen of recent weeks. Well, it was nearly the ball game, Andy. 3-1 uh, just after half-time. It's all over, but a splendid move from South Melbourne. Waratifi again having an outstanding game. Very busy. He's on the end of this. McPherson saves it with the feet. And thankfully, because uh, that could have, been, uh, could have been the ball game. Always a tough ask of the goalkeepers, the ones close to the body. looks up for Waratifi. Was the hands the referee says no the goal will stand Waratifi makes a 3-1 they'll argue this one as Rodney Hooker is doing but Waratifi celebrates his second goal of the game and that's goal number eight this season this man who was signed to replace Kim Ontagadoris it's a splendid strike Andy I wonder whether there is a handball there did appear to be West Adelaide complaining, and they have every right to. Uh, splendid strike, though it is. There was a handball before he hit it. A beautiful ball inside by Hasler. Was it an intentional handball? That's what they'll uh, be arguing about. But uh, Well, how do you differ between yes. intentional and not? Uh, very few of us uh, mean to handle the ball. For mine, it was a handball, but uh, that's the way it goes. And West Adelaide now are really going to have the job ahead of them. South Melbourne on fire, a big crowd here today. Uh, a win here will put them top of the table. Jim Pergolios, who is a former star player for South Melbourne, he was the assistant to Ferenc Bushkus, and he has done a very good job indeed in his first full season of coaching in the Coca-Cola Soccer League. And his team haven't lost since November the 15th. That was a 1-0 defeat to Parramatta. And the victory, as we pointed out earlier, will put them in first place ahead of Marconi. We drew last night at home to Sydney CSC. I was at that game, and in the end, uh, Marconi may be a bit lucky to escape with a draw after George Jalewski was sent off for a second yellow for 10 minutes to go. South Melbourne is the team many are, are pointing at as championship favourites. The local betting agency down here in Victoria, Tabaret, has touted them as the firm favourites to win the league. And Robbie Slager not too happy with Con Butzianis there. Butzianis picked up his game in that second part of the first half.
they're just on five minutes of play in. Apologies there for a bit of a uh, breakdown in communications. And a player has been booked on that far side. We'll just have a look at the replay here. And Francis Sawaratifi, the two-goal hero. Looks like he's gone in the book. The fans aren't too happy about it. Nonetheless, they'll be delighted, John. This is an exceptional two-goal buffer against a team which led the competition for so long in the first round. Well, it's a dangerous period for West Adelaide uh, and East South Melbourne, the type of side that can really rip you apart. Now it's time for West Adelaide just to try and settle it, to uh, hang in there in this dangerous period, then perhaps to get back in the match. Blair, interestingly, I thought he would have played uh, wide on the right, Andy. He uh, operated there earlier in the year, but uh, Rickoy is maintaining that position wide on the right for West Adelaide. Blair playing more in central midfield, uh, replacing Cerro. Blair with the free kick now, very experienced player. He has to play an important role with West Adelaide to get back in the match. And a very timely save by Dean and Associates. We saw in the first half the Peterson corners that were swinging in. The young man who has come into the side, made his debut in round eight, replacing the experienced Bruce McLaren. Safety first tactics the key here. A swirling win. Good save, John. And if in doubt, punch it out, as they say. And uh, it was uh, a very difficult ball to handle. That, swirl, that ball swirling in towards goal. Very strong breeze. This one won't uh, from Karamides. It'll swing out. Iriadi was jumping good fist away by the young keeper Anastasiadis. Jimenez trying to get it onto one of his players. There was Wade, but now Iriati, the little touch on, and a Waratifi back there to defend. You can see there a bit of the water in this pitch here on this side closest to us has caused them some trouble in the first half. Jurakovic, the commitment from the Socceroo showing out there. Tassios to Butianis, the return, and just bit difficult there. Big ask for Stephen Tassios. Now Rickoy. He looks up. Blair's free on that left side if they can get it across. There he is inside. Raymond Blair. Blair looks up. Ran into Trimboli now. Jimenez touching it on for Blair. And there was Jurakovic again. Zaridis calling in Iriadi, clever dummy, smart play by Brown, looking for Iriadi again. And it sort of reminded you of how they came back after trailing by one goal in the 11th minute. Still, there's plenty of time left, but at 3-1 with South Melbourne playing the football they have been playing the last couple of months, you really have to put your money on them, wouldn't you? away again. Waratifi. Tassios, who's been heavily involved in the second half. Peterson, unlucky when he struck the crossbar with that free kick. Hasler, also a great game from him. Wade, who's uh, taken over the captaincy reins, but he knows all about that, having led the Socceroos for a number of years. Hooker, who was also appointed captain, placing Raymond Blair, who's on this time. Now, Rickoy, he wants some support. He's found it in Raymond Blair. Brown, did not, not on for Viriati, and way again by Jurakovic. Just Adelaide, been in a bit of a slump the last three weeks. They came back last week, drawing at home to Sydney CSC, but they Considered 10 goals in those three games and two today. Trimboli has the wants it on that far right. But McPherson comes. And that was a pretty fair challenge, really, from Hasler. It was there for both players. And McPherson acknowledges that fact. But Gary Hasler, he's only really started uh, in just six games this season. And he's out to prove a point or two today. Well, he's playing with a lot of lot of spirit. Uh, the likes of, uh, we look at South Melbourne and rate them a big chance, not just because of their experience and depth that they have. But this year, there's so much spirit in the side, epitomised by the likes of Hasler, Wade, Jurakovic, and Awaratifi. And uh, with the experience and the spirit, 
and the ability, of course, it's the reason why so many rate South Melbourne the big one to beat this season. Way clipped by Rickoy. And if you look at statistics, and sometimes that's not a bad indicator, South Melbourne won both games last year, 3-0 and 7-1, but it was a great start of the season. West Adelaide, they defeated them 3-0 at home in the first round of the Coca-Cola Soccer League. This is the 27th meeting between both sides, and South Melbourne have won 16, West Adelaide have won 8. Lucianis. And the cross came in, the ball must have uh, swung out, yes it did, it'll be a goal kick. Conbutzianis, some talk of him uh, perhaps trying his luck in Greece in the off-season. Wouldn't surprise at all. Wade, a judge to have done a bit of climbing on Raymond Blair. Right, getting it away. Hugo Jimenez. Riati. And there was Trimboli. Looks up for Waratifi. Greg Mills kicking close tabs. Waratifi breaks though. Gianis deep and Tassios behind. No one at the near post though except for Alex McPherson. Lazaridis had a very good first half. Flags up against the Waratifi as he just jogs back in a position. We're having a tremendous second half, isn't he, Andy? Waratifi is so mobile in front side to side he's in everything and by being mobile of course uh, it's so difficult to mark him but causing uh, West Adelaide heaps of problems you feel that for West Adelaide to get back in that uh, the Iriati Brown combination has to be brought into the game more they're, they're a little bit starved of possession at this stage mainly because uh, South Melbourne have just dominated so much Peterson, lovely skills from the soccer room. That's a good ball for Butzianis. Karamidis just keeping tabs on him. Back for Triboli. A bit of a dangerous ball for Peterson. Rickoy away. Nice covering work by Musket. Drakovic can't go on and he takes Jimenez out of commission. But another man who's having a strong game today. Tremendous match. Uh, named uh, this morning in the uh, Melbourne press in the team of the halfway mark. I must say a little bit of Melbourne bias there by uh, Laurie Schwab, the respected journalist down here. Nine Melbourne players in the team, uh, team of the year so far. Jurakovic is in it, and I wouldn't argue with that. So too uh, was Trimboli, but an opinion piece from Laurie which uh, attracted a lot of attention down here. And the former Socceroo, Robbie Hooker. Looking again long for Blair and Hasler. So dominant in the air. And if you've just tuned into the Coca-Cola Soccer League match of the day, scoreline reading. South Melbourne three, West Adelaide one. It's not a bad uh, belated Christmas present, you could say, for the faithful fans here at Middle Park. Saying that there's plenty of time left, not even 14 minutes into the second half. Tassios. And he gets the cross in. And that was a great header from Robbie Slager. Iriati. An equally uh, impressive work done by Danny Wright. They'll need a big performance from him in the second half. And the same can be said about Greg Brown. Now Hasler away, and yes, was there obstruction? Brown and Hasler saying, uh, I'm not sure if it's Merry Christmas or Happy New Year, but uh, while I'm at it, on behalf of all, uh, all the crew here at SBS, we wish everyone all the best for the new year, and uh, we trust that you had a very good festive season. We're back in... Uh, Full mode, you could say, uh, starting on Saturday with On The Ball. That's back for the new year. First show of the year, we have a good look at Ned Zellich. And 
Vidmar Brothers and uh, quite a few other interesting uh, segments on the ball on Saturday afternoons. And the wind right behind the back of this West Adelaide team. Jimenez just goes over the top. The referee Richard Lorenz points to his fingers, saying he'll add on a bit of time now. Brown. Nazaridis was really wasted, wasn't it? Looks inside for Iriati. Iriati slips, gets back up, and again, Jurakovic is there. Hasler. He's hoping uh, to get it across for Tassios. There's plenty of cover there from Greg Mills. As I do this inside, and Jurakovic again throwing himself into the fray. Gets it across. Nazaridis just touching on for Mills. And that's some clearance by Hasler. Look, McPherson's playing like a geezer at the moment. A smart play from the keeper. Look, I'm looking for Blair. And up was Hasler again. This is some duel in the second half between Hasler and Blair. there John I, I suspect uh, is that Hasler we won't see him pushing forward as much as we did in the first half with Blair pushing down that right side well it's a better move they've swapped Blair with uh, Rickoy I think that is a better move for West Adelaide Blair as we did mention at half time is much better oh, that was a chance and a half for Greg Brown lovely run from Lazaridis but there that sort of chances you just have to take against South well, Greg knows that better than anyone else but uh, our point about Blair operating down the right the same applies to Lazaridis down the left and if West Adelaide can get those two operating here's Lazaridis now with the cross once he starts overlapping and Blair down the right West Adelaide are back in business one must uh, say however Andy that Tassios Steve Tassios in the first half has kept a good eye on uh, Lazaridis hasn't allowed him freedom of the park down the left. Isn't that an exceptional piece of work from Mehmet Jurakovic? Seemingly impossible situation. He still found his man in a Waratifi. South Melbourne played 13 games so far. Danny is, is uh, objecting to it, as most of us do, uh, when we haven't given a, a foul. It was only a slight one, but still enough foul to put Lazaridis off. But again, it illustrates that West Adelaide are in the game once Lazaridis can start overlapping. We saw it there again. Blair for Brown. The shots and just over the top from Greg Brown. He's already put away six goals in the competition this year. 38 in all in 85 appearances and like many of the locally based Socceroos an important phase of their career leading up to the World Cup qualifiers just nudged on by Blair and it was a good strike but just a bit too much on it if he climbs well no one up there to support him hooker away but given straight to peterson Luciana's. this is a pretty heavy part of the ground or tifi Timboli. and from some uh, 40 meters off target but uh, the goal that he scored you couldn't have timed it much better in the last minute of normal time in the first half before he scored that goal Andy Slager did uh, done such a good job on him in the first half marked him out of the game quite a bit and then Trimboli uh, pops up a minute before half time and puts one home Raymond Blair just one of four players who played last year for West Adelaide out there at the moment deep cross Brown climbs it was missed but not by uh, Stephen Tassios. Triboli, such a good shielder of the ball. Yes, the referee pulls up. Greg Mills this time. Maybe, maybe.
maybe I thought there the uh, the advantage could have been in, in order because Tremoli seemed to be on his way, but referee kept close tabs on that duel there. Big switch by Hasler, and a good one too for Peterson. Tassios. Now Tremoli's coming over to try and help him. You see Tremoli. Mills is covering Tremoli at the moment. And that's nicely done. The 21-year-old Greg Mills came through the uh, Joey ranks and the youth ranks. Lazaridis. This is his debut season. Uh, Blanco touts him as a uh, defender of the future. Possible soccer representative. Riati to Brown. Just a bit of a nudge from his soccer teammate Paul Wade. Ricoy. Jimenez with his shoot from there. He's lined it up. It wasn't a bad strike at all. And there is a fight back on from West Adelaide. You've got to pay them credit. They're trying to get back into the game. That, those goals. The last two came at such dangerous times. The last minute of normal time of the first half and within three minutes of the second. And West Adelaide, many people would have been surprised to see them in third place coming into the second part of the season. It's not only the position that uh, West Adelaide have attained, Andy, it's the way that they've, uh, they've done it. Very positive, very attacking, entertaining type of football. It is a crucial period for them now. Season-wise, they've uh, dropped a few points and uh, behind here today. It's a time of the year where they've really got to keep their head. Anyone before the season uh, would tout uh, West Adelaide as top six material. It would have been a fine achievement. But the fact that they've led the table for most of the season uh, has lifted the expectation of their fans. I think it would be wrong to put them under so much pressure. there again, an intelligent play across to Mills, how's that in this, Riati and Wright, and Wright just couldn't escape from Jimenez, but he's there again, Peterson, cool composed play from South Melbourne, Gutianis, great recovery, and that's not a bad looking cross, but no one at that deep post except inside and away by Hooker. Trimboli, the call for shot was on. The deep ball will be jockeyed out by Jim Karamides. Four goals in our Coca-Cola Soccer League match of the day. We saw seven last week in Adelaide. And they are just coming thick and fast in this Coca-Cola Soccer League. produced 29 goals and that's an all-time record since the NSL inception back in 77. <laughs> Actually, John, in the corresponding round last season, there was only seven goals scored. It's amazing how some teams have changed their attitude in the last four or five rounds, realising only too well that three points are a must. Draws just aren't good enough. Just committing the, uh, the foul there. I want to move back because he might get a yellow if he doesn't move. Well, the referee's way of play on. There was no advantage for West Adelaide there. And, uh, don't want to put the mocker on uh, Richard Lorenz. I thought that was a bit unfortunate for West Adelaide. The reality trying to back heel for Rick Hoy. Wade getting in there ahead of Brown and now Hasler. Giannis and Karamidis. Giannis there. So is Lazaridis. Rick Hoy, who made his return this week from an ankle injury. And again, Hasler was up. This isn't a bad period, really, for West Adelaide. 
we've had just 25 minutes into this second half. 3-1 the score. The home team ahead. And there was Hasler. Blair. Looking for Iriati. Wright couldn't get it away. Iriati looked up. Has he got a corner now? It'll be a goal kick. And while South Melbourne have really been putting the goals away, they have, uh, with Wollongong City, the second best defensive record prior to this game. They've conceded 12 goals coming into this round 14 fixture of the Coca-Cola Soccer League. Looks up again for Butsianis. Wade's inside. And away by Ricord. There go Rickoy, such a fine servant in the Coca Cola Soccer League. Played 213 games. He's played with St. George, Apia, Sydney CSC, and this season. One of the new faces at West Adelaide. Sianis looking for Trimboli. Blair again. Musket and Brown. Musket there first. Peterson just getting it away. Sianis up. And Peterson again there. Hasla. There's men inside. A number of options there. And no one could put it away. Contacio! So many players. We'll see here. I want to see if he perhaps the man adjusts to be offside. Yes. I want to see if he offside. And at the other end, again, it's Jurakovic. again too much on it no trouble in the end for Dean and Astasiadis Jimenez Tassios feet up the referee allowed the advantage to continue there Slayer got it across to Lazaridis Ricoy there again. And that pass will be easily cut out by Hasler. And yeah, that's not a bad switch. Can Lutzianis keep it in? Remembering how heavy uh, the conditions are on this side. Steal by Wade. Waratifi for Butianis. And back there was Robbie Slager. Lazaridis. And right straight to Waratifi. Cheeky ball inside by Tassios Trimboli. The challenge came from Rickoy. It and he gets it as well. He's become a real favourite here at Middle Park. The Socceroo Gary Hasler. Tassios. <laughs> Richard Lorenz was right on the spot. 
too many arguments from Stephen Tassios, but uh, he is having a very busy second half. Tassios was so long plagued by injuries. It's good to see him back. And Stasiatis comes and takes it confidently. Good timing. He's been impressive off his line, hasn't he, Andy? Very positive. Uh, some of the crosses we've seen, that was uh, a good example of it. Very, very positive. Out gives a confidence to the rest of the defence to know that the keeper is very definite in what he intends to do. And he made two very important saves when it was at 1-1. Triboli, the man who made it 2-1. Jurakovic. Tiki slipped as Mills put the challenge in. The fans said that uh, perhaps Mills might have committed a foul. The referee was right there, and the, the way it looked to me was Tiki like, just slipped somewhat. on back for the captain I haven't seen Karamidis coming up too much he's had to play a restrained role and hit close tabs on Butsianis Lazaridis this doesn't look too bad and yes he was uh, well he was fouled on two occasions I thought there is no point to really argue on that one If they're going to get back in the game, this has to be the time. This 31 minutes into this second half, it's staying at 3-1 at the moment in favour of South Melbourne. Francis Awaratifi scoring two of those. He's back there to help his defence now. And will it come from Robbie Hooker or Rickoy? Jimenez. Hooker back for Brown. From there, the direct shot at goal, John, is perhaps the best option. They, South Melbourne moves so quickly off, off the wall. That well, and, well, it really is West Adelaide's fault, uh, Andy. They've had two free kicks in this half, and they've got so many fine strikes of the ball, Brown or Hooker. Uh, they've really mucked their free kicks up, and with this breeze, that's two good opportunities to strike a goal if you want astray, and they need every opportunity they can get at this stage. Good to see Lazaridis. He got early service uh, previously to get that free kick from Jimenez, Jimenez, I should say. To give him the space to start to run at defenders, and he hasn't had that uh, luxury all day. But West Adelaide need to give him more opportunities if they're to get back in the match. Jimenez looking for some support. Found Blair. Brown. It's not a bad touch back. Jimenez again. No one's really moving off the ball in front of him, and it's got to go back to Hooker. Looking for Iriati. Too long. It's not enough midfielders making the runs to give them some options. And there could be a change. That's the youngster, Brett Pullen. Who's come on twice as a sub this season. Tasmanian-born player who'd uh, actually tried with the young Socceroos a couple of seasons ago. Couldn't get into the squad. And was picked up from the uh, State League in South Australia by Ralph Lanko. Time against West Adelaide, South Melbourne. Stays like this, they'll be the leaders going into round 15 next week. Raymond Blair. But again, Anastasiadis is very confident in the air. So I should point out he's the younger brother of John Anastasiadis, who played previously with Heidelberg. And there's an interesting story there with Dean because his father is the Heidelberg team manager. Karamidis. Brown. Rickoy. There's got to be some more urgency coming in from this West Adelaide team. Lazaridis. Trying to escape from Tassios. Cross was blocked by Wright and easily intercepted by Trimboli. Good work there on that far side by Slager. And Danny Wright is going in the book. if it was worth a yellow. 
Lazaridis. And we've seen yellows for that and for less perhaps too. In the end, Danny really couldn't argue there. The commitment uh, being of a higher standard from both teams just a couple of times, just a bit too much. And about four bookings so far. Wade, only a warrior Tifi up there at the moment. There's no real risk to throw men forward. Uh, nice skills from Francis Awaratifi. Peterson making a valid run, and there was the header from Peterson too. But you've got to commend the effort from Awaratifi. And I was watching Peterson, who was sprinting through. A very tough one for him to get onto. You've got to pay him credit here. But excellent lead-up work from Awaratifi. He's had a splendid uh, second half here. Ricky P probably getting there a little bit too early, I would think, Andy. Uh, if he'd have got in the run a little bit later on into it, uh, but it was such a good deep run from him. And there at the other end, Dean Anastasiadis keeps out Jose Iriati. And if he scored there, we would have been set for a real dramatic finish. There's just nine minutes of normal time left. Iriati, the scorer today, brings out the best in the young man, Dean Anastasiadis. Corner easily away by Trimboli. Tassios on to Bucianis. And Tassios shrugging off the challenge of Karamidis. He waits for Bucianis. The deep searching ball for Trimboli. And there was hands against Trimboli. Tifi, he can show his defensive skills there. He's come back a few times and with a clumsy challenge by Jimenez on Paul Trimboli. No booking. The fans here expected uh, Richard Lorenz to pull out the card. No doubt Danny Wright saying, well, you gave me one a few minutes ago for a similar thing, which is fair enough. It's... Uh, Too much on it, McPherson there. And a quick clearance. Black Peterson trying to get it on for Trimboli. Tassios. Nice skills. Right. Tough one for Trimboli. Well read by Lazaridis. He has impressed me today. A lot of talk about him in recent weeks. Jose Iriati almost scoring his second, but for a great save by Anastasiadis. Rickoy and Peterson. And Peterson just uh, bringing down Hugo Jimenez. Need to say anything else. Yes, there's no real need. We'll leave that to the viewers at home. Head high. <laughs> A lot can be said there about the clearance by Hasler. Typical of what we've seen from him, particularly in the second half. Blair can't get in ahead of Wade, and it is South Melbourne throw. John, there's just over five minutes left and uh, the points look well and truly secure for South Melbourne. Mate. South Melbourne quite simply shown why they're the, the team, uh, everyone's saying the, the, the ones to beat. But have we spoken too soon? Lazaridis lines it up and there's the goal! Stan Lazaridis has scored! His second goal in the Coca-Cola Soccer League. What a turnaround it's been. An exceptional strike from the youngster. He's 20 years of age. Play. The beauty of 
Lazaridis was saying at half time how he needed to be in the game a lot more and every time he does become involved West Adelaide looks such a better side good ball from Jimenez opens uh, South Melbourne up just as we're giving South Melbourne the big rap but uh, they are the team to beat and, and despite that goal uh, that opinion still stands they have shown today uh, and again we may be speaking a little bit uh, early Andy there's still uh, a few minutes to go and West Adelaide can pull something out but West Adelaide have uh, uh, South Melbourne I should say have so much experience they're playing with such a spirit and so many of their players can score and they have so much depth that uh, they are entitled to uh, the favoritism for this year's title well that's a read us has been rewarded already for a pretty good game today say though Andy by his standards it's in an attacking sense it's been a reasonably quiet game for him you and saw him uh, play last week didn't you? last week he was he, what, what's happening he's, get, he's getting heavily marked by opposing teams now and so is Raymond Blair as Hasler got the ball away no love lost there in that duel but we were just uh, I think next, Gary's next. just got a temper he's playing with a lot of spirit and the fans love it but just temper that enthusiasm West Adelaide, can they come back? They're down by just the one goal now. Karamidis, Butsianis, easy steal for him. Tassios, Butsianis on his left. Can Butsianis bury the game here? Con Butsianis and McPherson, that'll be a corner too. of normal time but Giannis was on his way and again Robbie Hooker there when it really looked like South Melbourne had the game well in control they find themselves at the end of it oh it's an own goal now it's all over it's got to be all over now Robbie Hooker who did all the defending to deny Butch Giannis and it's an own G an own goal against Robbie Hooker the captain to stop uh, Butsianis in that last move. And here we go. He does appear to slip a little bit. The bottom line is it is an OG and uh, that most certainly is the ball game now. Well, we've seen it all now, haven't we, John? Amazing. A revival, a short-lived one, it seems. It's just on two minutes of normal time, throwing about a minute and a half to two minutes for stoppages. Again, We've seen goals, seen of the Coca-Cola Soccer League. Six already here. South Melbourne lead four goals to two. Brown looking for Iriati. That was Jurakovic, and there he is again. Rikoy, can he get through there? He can't. Again, Jurakovic. Well, 3-1, you would have put your money on South Melbourne closing up shop. Just hanging on there, Lazaridis came back to bring it to 3-2. Five minutes left. And then the amazing own goal. Tassios sliding it through for Wade. Looks up for Waratifi. Mills is there. Waratifi. Lazaridis. signs of the card and maybe a tad lucky there away by Karamidis touched on by Ricoy Hasler across West Adelaide facing their third loss in the last four weeks time for them now and he was touching on earlier that uh, after leading the competition then to lose uh, three out of four I hope uh, in the meantime that West Adelaide don't abandon the attractive way they've played the game the very uh, attacking uh, way up to this round they were the leading scorers in view of the results starting to go against them that they don't abandon that philosophy because it's been a welcome addition to the league this year 
Tassianis trying to get it on for Tassios. And stolen by Stephen Tassios. Back inside for Wade. The heavy conditions in this side of the pitch here at Little Park telling there in the end. Haslow with a cheeky ball inside it. This is a fantastic shot. It dips and swerves so much. And uh, we were saying earlier that now he's won the hearts of the fans here for the manner in which he plays the game. Again, my only uh, criticism or advice to Gary would be just to temper that enthusiasm and uh, not to get in need needless uh, arguments and uh, behind the play going on. But apart from that, carry on the way he is. He's uh, going to make that uh, spot his in the South Melbourne lineup, and in the meantime, going to put pressure on the other players in the squad. The squad which has a lot of depth and is one very good reason uh, why so many going for South Melbourne this year. Well, South Melbourne next week they face a pretty tough battle on the way to Sydney CSC and West Adelaide are at home to Preston. As you can see, uh, the latest highlights from round 14 of the Coca-Cola Soccer League. And on the ball on Saturday afternoon, 1.30, half an hour earlier in Adelaide. We're playing stoppages. We've had about a minute and 40 seconds. South Melbourne again maintain this fine unbeaten run. And that unbeaten run began in round eight when they beat Adelaide City 2-1 then Heidelberg 2-0 they drew at Melbourne CSC 1-1 they beat Brisbane 2-0 Sydney Olympic 3-1 Wollongong 2-1 and it appears to be a 4-2 result here but in saying that uh, don't be surprised if West Adelaide can sneak one back Iriati no they can't this time 4-2 the final score here at Middle Park 2-1 at half time. Paul Wade who's standing in as captain. He'll be happy. They'll be delighted here at South Melbourne. Aura Tifi has two goals really told in the end. And John, uh, are they the championship favourites after what we've seen of them uh, the last few weeks? Well, I, th I think there's no doubt, Andy, for the reasons that we elaborated during the game, the depth, the experience, uh, uh, the, the hunger that, it, that appears to be there this year was perhaps missing last year. But uh, again, full marks to West Adelaide. They've come, they've made a real game of it, and I hope they don't abandon this attacking philosophy in view of some uh, poor results in the past few weeks. So on behalf of Johnny Warren and Les Murray and the...